Sarah from Average Betty here, and I'm making portobello mushroom burgers. I've had a lot of requests from my awesome subscribers for a veggie burger. And I don't know about you, but sometimes the bean burger patty can leave me feeling a little bloated. And well, you know, cue the foghorn sound. That's why I love the portobello mushroom burger. It's meaty and filling while still being vegetarian. And best of all, it won't bloat you up and, well, you know. Let's make portobello mushroom burgers. This is a portobello mushroom. It's really just the mature version of a brown cremini mushroom. You can call these big guys portobello or portobella. And this is like a monster bello. I think this one's definitely a portobello, if you know what I mean. I'm going to start by marinating the portobellos in balsamic vinegar, a little olive oil, and some fresh cracked pepper. You can add any other seasonings or herbs that you like, but hold off on the salt until you're ready to grill because the salt pulls moisture out. The same is true for regular burgers too. Get these good and coated. While the mushrooms are marinating, I'm going to grill up some sweet peppers and onions. Mm -hmm. These are also some hatch chilies that I'm going to put in a quesadilla later, Napoleon. Here's our now juicy and marinated portobello mushroom. A little salt. You wanna grill it on either side for about four or five minutes. Of course, if you don't have access to a grill, you can use a grill pan or just a good old frying pan. If you wanted to, you could fill this underside with something, like other cheeses or meat. Get creative. This is provolone cheese. Allow the cheese to melt, and if you need to help it along, you can cover it. Just be sure to use a bowl that won't melt, and be careful taking it off. Don't do that. Top the cheesy shroom with grilled onions and peppers. And don't forget to give your buns a little toasting. To build the burger, I've got the bottom bun here, and this is a basil roasted red pepper mayo I've whipped up. You can get more details about this on my website. Don't worry, it's a sandwich spread, not brain surgery. You can also use mayo or mustard, whatever pulls your wagon. These are juicy, juicy Roma tomatoes, a good mound of crisp, clean lettuce, and the star of the bun, portobello. Here's the toasty top bun and a little more spread. Check it out. That's right, portobello. Get the portobello mushroom burger recipe at averagebetty.com. I hope you give this recipe a try next time you're craving a burger, especially if you're looking for a vegetarian alternative that won't leave you feeling burr. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time. Mmm,